Hello, hello. Uh, you are welcome to day six of our family anchor on CCMB podcast. My name is Delia Colleen, and I'm very positive that you have been blessed for the past days you've been tuning in. Um, today, we want to take a step further. And what we're going to talk about today is one of the things we gleaned and we learned during the family month here in Christ up in the month of September. Uh, what we want to look at today is that should there be a family way of communicating in our Christian family? Of course, we're talking about Christian family right now. Should there be a family way of talking? Now, I would suggest, yes, there should be a family way of talking. You know, remember, we're talking about Christian family, and that's what God encourages us to do. That's what God prescribes for all our family. We must communicate in a way that's going to be uh, a good example for our family. Um, I read something in the papers. I don't know whether it's true, but I read it. That there was a time that the Queen of England told uh, Meghan Markle. Uh, she spoke in a certain way. And the Queen, I mean, lovingly, not a rebuke, but just told her. And in this family, we don't talk that way. So in Christian family, we must never put one another down. That is very important. That is how we must talk to one another. We shouldn't condemn anyone. We shouldn't be right anyone. We shouldn't downplay people's opinion and people's uh, suggestions. So I would suggest that we talk to one another in a respectful way. And then secondly, we must encourage one another. That is how we should talk in our families. We must build each other up. We must bolster each other up. And that's what the scriptures encourage us to do. No matter the state of the family, no matter the state of any member of the family, it's very important for us to build a good family relationship to encourage that person. A family must be a refuge for every Christian family member. Where that person can bring his struggle or her struggles without fear of rejection, without fear of 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 of, of, of negative attitude. And the person must be able to bring his or her own joy and excitement and will be embraced. So the one way we can communicate in our family is to encourage one another. And lastly, we must be progressive in our communication. What do I mean by that? We must focus, make it a priority on passing on profitable uh, values in our, our family. Communications must in a Christian family, communication must advance the fate, must advance the fortune, it must advance the future of the family. I mean, this is what God saw in Abraham in Genesis chapter 18, verse 19. God said, I know what Abraham is going to do. He's going to pass on profitable families to his family. That is righteous uh, values, godly values, and that's what you and I must do in our Christian families. Thank you for listening again. Uh, we're going to be here uh, for the seventh uh, day and we're going to learn more tidbits during this family income. Thank you for listening and God bless you in Jesus' name. And bye.